Hello people, welcome to Make and Link and our booster series, wherein we create short videos on common technical doubts that engineers may have. So today's question is, what are the size and grades of steel according to IS 456-2000? Firstly, you have to understand that as compared to concrete, which is cast on site, steel is usually manufactured in factories under control conditions. Hence. Quality control of steel is much easier and better than concrete. Mostly we use word reinforcing bars or shortly rebars to represent steel bars. Nominal dye of steel available in India varies between 5 mm to 50 mm. But mostly steel bars with dye between 8 mm and 32 mm are used. So basically steel bars come in two types based on their surface. First one is plain bars which have a smooth surface. Second one are deformed bars, which have a rough surface. Or these are the ones which have lugs on their surface. These lugs are provided to enhance the bond between steel and concrete. Now let's move on to the grade of steel. To represent grade of steel, we use yield strength of steel. As in previous RCC booster, we defined compressive strength as characteristic strength. Similarly, in the case of steel, as per clause 36.1 of IS code, yield strength may be treated as characteristic strength or FY. Let's take a closer look at each grade of steel. So first one is mild steel, that is Fe 250. Here Fe represents iron and 250 represents yield strength in megapascal. Mild steel is less commonly used because of their low strength. If we draw the stress strain curve for mild steel, it comes out to be like this. And you might have learned this in strength of materials. Second type of bars are HYSD bars or high yield strength deformed bars. These bar comprises of FE415 and FE500 and their graphs will be like this. Notice the difference between these graphs. Now except for three types of steel, some additional grades that are Fe415D, Fe500D, Fe550 and Fe550D have been recently introduced in IS 1786-2000 and these are introduced for higher strength. Remember here D represents higher ductility. Also some advanced technology are also available in steel to prevent corrosion. For example, TMT bars, which are thermomechanical treated bars. Inner core of these bars is soft and ductile and the outer core shows very high tensile strength. These bars come with an anti-corrosive coating. I hope now you have a fair bit of idea about the size and grade of steel used in IS 456-2000. You can visit our website makeunlink.com to access super cool online courses on various engineering subjects. Thank you for watching and see you soon.